does Vanguard still suck in 2024? That is today's question, so we are going to be playing some Vanguard. And I'm sure you'll remember they've got these portals set up that you just have to go do. So let's go ahead, hit a portal, go back to it. Man, I, I'm i going to just spoil the video for you. It, it's not any better, really. <laughs> Man, this game was just really something else. This is round one. Every objective is one round. And the problem with that is that this this game kind of starts out like Nocturne and Toten does, where the first like five rounds are like they take like 10 minutes. They're ridiculously slow. The only one thing I will give Vanguard right here is the minimap does tell you where every zombie is at all times. So you can go find the last zombie. That was that was good. I like that. This game actually did that well. And we got Vaughn List. Oh my god. <laughs> How could you ever forget Vaughn List? Drop a drop a comment if you remember Vaughn List talking about toy soldiers. <laughs> god, that was so annoying. So yeah, you do these objectives and then they open the doors and you can get some more of the map. Uh, I The reason I'm explaining it is because there's a good chance you either didn't play this or don't remember or you've like repressed the memory. I really don't blame you. Unfortunately, I have not. I played way too much of Vanguard Zombies before Shinonuma came out. Cause like I, I actually went for Dark Ether in this game. Let me go to the light here. I do in fact have Dark Ether and Vanguard. That's right. I'm one of 10 people in the entire world that have Dark Ether. I also decided to go ahead and pick out the MP40 to use because A, I have a tracer blueprint for it. I remember, this is one of the first blueprints that came out in the game and I remember getting so hyped because I thought this thing looks like the, it looks like the Origins Pack-A-Punch camo, right? And I was like, oh my god, that's so cool, I need it. It was like 10 bucks. This game is kind of crappy, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it, was, it was a good 10 bucks. <laughs> I use this thing a lot, it was a good 10 bucks. Go ahead and pack a punch because you gotta pack a punch, right? Uh, this game has a menu. Oh, wait, it's 75. I forgot about that. One of the big things that people really hated about this is that they made it so that the pack a punch costs extra money. It goes 7,500, then 1,500, and then 30,000. There is a pack a punch camo on this now, but if you remember, this game did not launch with a pack a punch camo and people were not happy. This book upgrades your field upgrade. They didn't actually add this until after launch. So at start, you couldn't even upgrade your field upgrade. What you did with the hearts you earned every round is you put them here and you'd get like these random buffs. You get more salvage, you get brain rot, you know, you get your AATs, just stuff like that. It seemed really cool at first, but uh, to be honest, it was kind of shallow. Oh yeah, here's Shinonuma. It was really weird when this game came out because like we were playing Duran Fong and Shinonuma was just hanging out in there. Like as I remember, there really wasn't an explanation for why Shinonuma was in this game, it just was. I think they explained it once like the Shinonuma map actually came out, but I honestly, I really don't know if they ever actually planned on releasing Shinonuma for this game or if that was purely just a pivot because nobody liked whatever this objective mode is and they just had the most assets to make Shinonuma. I hope you didn't like your eyeballs, by the way, because this MP40 is blindingly bright in this dark map, and it will be glowing in your face for the rest of the video, so you might as well get used to it. If you're unfortunate enough to remember, this game didn't even launch with a ray gun. There was no ray gun until, I think it was season two is when they added a ray gun, which like, wow, holy two, two and a half whole months to get a ray gun. That's crazy. I think there's another perk in here. Yeah, we've got ethereal haste. That's like stamina. Another very, very unpopular change they made was uh, this game has five perks. All five of the perks are just stat boosts. So none of the perks actually do anything unique. They all just boost stats. So the red one boosts your health. The yellow one boosts your movement speed. The green one boosts your reload speed. The blue one boosts your regen speed. And then the yellow one boosts your headshot damage. Uh, literally none of them have any unique properties. They don't make you do anything cool. You can't flop. You can't slide further nothing cool like that it's literally just straight stat increases it's really just not fun vanguard did a lot of things wrong but it actually i think it did a couple things right that nobody ever talks about just because you know every, it did so many things wrong why would you ever talk about the things it did right right one of those things actually is the salvage they got rid of the salvage system from cold war where there was like the green and the blue they just made it green which is actually how it's going right now in Black Ops 6. They got rid of the blue, it's just the green, it's simplified. They did that actually in this game first. Should we spin the mystery box? Uh, let's go ahead and try and spin the mystery box. So you can see there's colors here on the guns. Different colors actually, they work differently in this game. The colors actually correspond to your pack-a-punch level. So if I go ahead here and drop my pack-a-punched MP40, you'll see it's blue because I packed it once. 
If it's purple, it's packed twice, and if it's gold, it's packed three times. So they completely did away with the color system, it's just all packet punching, which I actually, I didn't hear a lot of people talk about, but uh, it seems like people, it seems like people are kind of really upset with the way that the pack of punching and color system works in Black Ops 6, so I'm kind of surprised that more people aren't talking about how they did that. These objectives here that we're doing are honestly, they're really kind of bland and boring. I think this mode could have been interesting if the objectives were a bit better, but they're really not like this one. You just follow this orb and escort it. The zombies don't even attack the orb. You just have to like follow the orb and stay in the circle. That's all you have to do. There's this one. There's like one objective where you just have to survive for a couple minutes. There's one where you have to stand on top of spots and capture them like you're playing domination in zombies. There's one where you have to stop zombies from attacking like totem poles. And then I think there's one where you have to like, it's like kill confirm, but zombies, you got to pick up tags from the zombies and then you got to stick them inside of like obelisks, which I will say that's a, that's a very, it's a very modern warfare three feeling objective. All of these objectives honestly are kind of like modern warfare three feeling. Another thing you change about the perks, so the first time you buy a perk, it's free, and then after that, I think it goes 2,500, then 5,000, and then 7,500. And every time you go down, you lose one tier of each of your perks, which is certainly a way to do it. Um, the problem I have with it, though, is that it's expensive, because if you've got all your perks tier 4, so they're maxed out, and then you go down, that's 5 times 7,500. It costs so many points to get all your perks back. I could upgrade my perks. I'm going to go ahead and double pack my MP40 though, honestly. And then the pause. You can't forget the pause button. This game did not launch with the pause button very famously. They added it after like, I think it was like season two or season three. It might've been season four. I'm going to be real with you. Another one of the huge issues people had with this is that there is like almost not a single original asset in this map. Every single map that you play on, even though they're all different, they're all just pulled from somewhere else. And they're not like creatively, cleverly pulled like how we're used to in Zombies. You know, like how Ascension is from campaign and multiplayer, but it doesn't feel like it. These are just ripped straight from campaign, straight from multiplayer. They feel just like it. I think this is like the first or the second campaign mission is where this place is that I'm at right now. People just really didn't like it, and I, I totally see why. Oh, okay, there you go. A lot of people did not like this guy. He's a big guy with a minigun. Let me tell you. People do not like being shot at in zombies. I mean, as you can see from me telling you, I mean, this game just had the odds stacked against it. Like everything it tried to do that was new, 98% of it just failed, fell completely flat. Nobody liked it. I do think a little bit of that criticism was kind of, okay. See, now I'm getting shot at while I'm trying to do objectives. See, this is, this is what I mean. Nobody likes this. I agree with that one. I am not a fan of being shot at. It gets really annoying when there's like five of those guys at the same time. A lot of people felt like the perks just really weren't all that useful. Like here, I'm going to show you. So this is the reload without speed cola. And then here, let's go ahead and look at the reload with speed cola. <laughs> it's like the exact same. Obviously, that's because you have to buy it multiple times to make it better, but I think people just really didn't like the way that it feels like you gradually get stronger and you don't feel that instant boost. It's just not quite as satisfying to play with. Unfortunately, about everything I've told you so far is all this game really had to offer on launch. There is one more major feature of this map, but it was added post-launch, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. But honestly, I really am kind of sad that, oh yeah, here's the other boss, but this boss got added after like three months, so honestly, I don't really count her as part of this map. Honestly, I'm just really disappointed that this game wasn't good, because I had a lot of hopes for Vanguard Zombies. I went into it with a really, really open mind. I was like, you know what, object, that's okay. That could be okay. I liked Outbreak, you know, I liked Outbreak. This might not be so bad. Unfortunately, it was very bad. And I played it anyway, because I'm a, a little piggy and I like my zombie slop. Oh wait, hold up, this is a packed gun. There you go, so sometimes you open loot crates and they do drop you guns. Am I gonna die? Why are there so many zombies here? Sometimes they do drop you packed guns, which is pretty cool. What I was saying though, my hope really is that this game was kind of like a soft remaster of World at War Zombies. I think that Treyarch and Activision should have just been really transparent with us. They should have said, hey, we don't have a lot of time to make this game. We don't have a lot of resources for it. So this is going to be a more scaled back Zombies experience. And what we're going to do is we're going to have four maps. We're going to remaster every single World at War Zombies map. And we're going to make it into like a soft reboot of World at War Zombies. And they could have done something like that, so it was like, 
There's Nocturne and Toad and Verruck, Shinonuma, and Duris, right? Just like World at War. They're all small maps. They aren't particularly hard to make, right? But instead of just being a remaster like Black Ops 3 was, what if they were actually set in like, you know, the new timeline, the new like Dark Ether story, and they had all new like elements to them and they were like retold, but in the new storyline. Kind of like how they took Nocturne Toten for D-Machina, or how in this game they, they did do Shinonuma. They remade Shinonuma, they changed it a little bit, but it's still Shinonuma, and they added a totally new story to it and stuff like that, and made it connect to Cold War. I think if they did that, like for all four of the World at War maps, that would have been that would have been really cool. And if they did that, I think I would have appreciated this game a lot more. Because like they did the Shinonuma remake. I, I'm gonna be honest with you here. Why do we always get Shinonuma remakes? What is, what is it with Shinonuma? Do people like Shinonuma that much? Every time they remake a map, it's like Nox or Shinonuma, and like there's no other option. You know what I would kill for? I think a Verruckt remake would be awesome. This game, this game has insanely fast zombies on high rounds. Can you imagine like round 35 in Vanguard zombies on freaking Verruckt? Oh my god, that that would make World at War Verruckt look like child's play. <laughs> like, it's so insane. But yeah, this is one of the other modes. This was added post-launch. This was added because people complained about no round based. Basically, it was their answer. They just put you on the little Shinonuma section that they already made. And they said, okay, have at it. You can just survive. Also, big problem with this game. <laughs> There's really uh, some bad lag. The servers are not stable. They crash all the time. You get booted from the game all the time. Uh, that Stormkrieger guy is extra annoying on this map because he actually, he shoots you through walls. His AI or something is just like broken and he just shoots you through walls. Straight up, straight up, like straight up, straight up wall hacking. So they put you on Jinonuma. They do give you a pack a punch, which is cool, but I don't think they give you anything else. They don't like, they give you ammo boxes. They don't give you perks. They don't give you like the hard things. You do have to actually go back if you want to get that stuff. And yeah, I'm lagging really bad. Okay. I might actually like die because of this. That's my way of saying if I die, I'm blaming it on lag and not my skill. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> we're going to crash. Ring of fire. Man, Ring of Fire. They nerf Ring of Fire hard in this game. They nerf Ring of Fire because it was way too good in Cold War. All the field upgrades got nerfed pretty hard in this game. So yeah, when we're done here, we can just go ahead and leave and we can go back to the Stalingrad area. This was the main villain for this game. I actually think his, his design is really cool. I think the he was like probably the most interesting part about this whole game was the villain. But the final boss fight against him was cool, but the story aspect of it, unfortunately, was pretty, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get a triple pack. It was pretty underwhelming. Like, you kill him, and then he just, like, they, they just stop talking and the story's over. Like, there's no resolution, you just kill him and it's over. They didn't find a way to connect it to Cold War, which was a huge problem. I mean, yeah, but in the end all be all, this game is basically just wasted potential, in my opinion. I really don't think it's the end of the world. A lot of people think... A lot of people think Vanguard Zombies was like the end of zombies forever. I'm going to be totally clear with you. Like this, this game sucked. Okay. But <laughs> it was not like the end of the world bad. Like I could play this, you know, once every couple days and I would have a little bit of fun once I got to the higher routes, like round 10 here. Once like there's more action going on and stuff like it, it was a little bit of fun. Okay. But unfortunately it does suffer from that same issue that I think Modern Warfare 3 suffers from, which is like Modern Warfare 3. I don't want to play it more than once a day. I will play one match of Modern Warfare 3 zombies in a day. I'll have fun and then I'm done. If I try and play it again, it's just too boring. There's nothing to do. That's mainly though, because I'm a solo player and they decided to make a game that like you can't play solo, which was like kind of annoying because like, why would you do that? But it was a little bit of fun occasionally. Was it $70 worth of fun? No. Okay, let's get, let's, let's get that part right. But it was, it was a little bit of fun occasionally, I won't lie. Once they added Shinonuma and like actual round based maps, I felt much, much, much better about Vanguard. I like Shinonuma on this game. I think it's actually the best version of Shinonuma ever, probably. And the Archon was okay. Honestly, I just think that the the layout of the Archon just isn't really fit for round based. It doesn't work. It works, sure, for the, the weird objective mode on Terra Maledicta, but it, it just doesn't work in round based. Oh, wait, hold up. He just dropped a gold gun for me? <laughs> Look at that. See, like, that's cool. Sometimes you would kill a boss zombie and they just drop you, like, a full packed gun. Like, they don't do that in Cold War. Okay, yeah, that, that's annoying. So you can just be running, minding your own business, and you start getting shot at. Nobody likes that, let's be real. 
Let's go ahead and try an exfil. This is the exfil. Uh, it's nowhere near as cool as like the Cold War helicopter exfil. You just hit the button and it tells you kill zombies before a portal opens. So you go ahead, you kill the zombies. Let's pull out this death machine. Uh, it's like an explosive death machine. It's pretty cool. I'll give it that. The idea for the death machine in this game is cooler than the one in Cold War, except it actually kind of sucks more. It does less damage, but it's, it's a cool idea at least. And so there you go, once you kill enough zombies, this portal opens over here, and you gotta get to it. Let's go ahead and drop a monkey for old time's sake. Goodbye, monkey. Uh, fun fact, that's gonna upset you. Monkeys don't bounce in this game. They just, they just fall and land there. I should probably hit the portal before I die, okay. And there you go. It's over. That's, that's the... That's the game. And that's, that's, that's Vanguard Zombies in 2024, man. Is it worth it? No, 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 it's not. If you're upset about how Vanguard Zombies sucks, here's a video on Vanguard Zombies, but it doesn't suck.